My name is Nonso Bassi. I am an artist and a creative entrepreneur. I was born and raised in Calabar and uh, I'm the only son of five, six children. So I was raised among women and that has uh, inspired my outlook to life and the purpose of why I do what I do. Because at the core of it, I want women to feel seen and heard and understood. Yeah. And why I became an actor? Well, I've always been the uh, creative kid. I sing, I write, I dance, I, I used to sketch and draw little paper dolls and give them stories. So I knew that this is what I was going to do. This is what I love to do. I didn't think I would start acting first. Um, I thought that um, I would uh, produce and write and create first. My idea of acting was I wanted to be a, like a sexy sugar daddy type guy. So maybe in my 40s. But you know, life happens the way it does. And here we are. I'm thankful. Um, my first professional gig as an actor was Warukum Roundabout. And that was in late 2016. After I was done with The Voice, an opportunity came. And I took it. How I got to be on the cast uh, of Love Like This. It all happened so miraculously, honestly. It came at a point in my life where love like this came at a very, very low point in my life. I was uh, preparing to bury my mother and you know, funerals in Nigeria can be quite expensive. So it had taken everything from me and my family. And I believe I had auditioned. A lot was going on with me, so I don't remember all the details. But I buried her in October. And I had a number of gigs lined up for November, which I was quite thankful for. But then all of them just systematically went away. Either production wasn't ready, or they suddenly decided or to go with another actor, or, you know, just for some reason or the other. All four, I guess, four or five of them went away, and that wasn't good for my, uh, my mind at the time. And then, I believe then I got the call to come audition, and I didn't, I d honestly didn't put my mind to it, you know, because there was, there's only so much rejection one can take in a short amount of time. But then I got, you know, called back and called back again. And, you know, and next thing I got the role. God works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? Uh, I'm thankful and so I give it my all and I, I, the emotions and the depth of myself that I put into this, you know, came from a very real place. When I was crying at the, you know, the whole being ditched at the altar thing. I was crying for my mom. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So I play the character Nimi in Love Like This. Nimi is a 
complex character. And I feel like that is what I appreciate the most about the show, is how complex all the characters are. There was no character that was just one dimensional. You know, everybody brought something new to the table. Everybody had their light and their dark sides, which is true, you know, to us as people. Nobody is perfectly good and completely evil, you know, and I really like that about the show. And you get to see the ups and downs. You know, at the beginning of the show, everybody's like, oh, poor Nimi, poor Nimi, poor Nimi. Then at some point, everybody's like, okay, what, what are you doing? Like, you know, and that is true, you know, with life, because the same person can be an angel to some people and a devil to other people. And uh, I really, really enjoyed playing that character. You know, reading the script over and over again, doing my character work, just getting to see more and more layers, you know, to the guy gave me so much motivation to want to get in and, and, and do the job. So I'm thankful. Oh, maybe you should. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's my answer. Maybe you should. But who I want to see action, you know, from is Nimi beating that uh, um, that model, what's his face? That guy that is always... Oh, my experience on set uh, shooting Love Like This was amazing. It was quite intense. Because we shot over the period of three weeks uh, last Christmas. Uh, it was a lot on the production, the cast and the crew. You know, because... We all had, we all, we felt like we all had something to prove. You know, this was important for everyone. So everybody brought their A game. Everybody, you know, we, it was a, it was a, a unit, you know, we moved well together. And of course, you know, production and they'll be shouting, because 80s and, you know, 80s love to shout, every small thing. But, you know, they have to keep the ship moving. And, and <laughs> shout out to me, who's my, <laughs> my G. <laughs> but like, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was cool. Um, I fell ill once because of the, there was just a lot going on with me at the time. And, you know, so I, I had to, I had to go to the hospital uh, for a night. That wasn't fun. I hate hospitals. But otherwise, it was great. The food was amazing. Feed me and we have a great production. Feed me well. And we have a solid production. Hmm. Hmm. Let's start with the OG Nolly Babes. Oh my God. I want to act with every single one of them. Uh, my queens, Liz Benson. Who is now Liz Amoye, yes? She changed her name, I think. Um, Regina Askia. I hope that she comes back to do like one more movie. Yo, Regina Askia. Sandra Achum, Susan, Susan Patricks, um, Sean George, you know, Yukiri Anunobi, Clarence Chikura Viola, Patience Ozokwo, you know, then ah, Jenny, Genevieve, Naji, Rita Dominic, uh, Iniedo, Dakore, you know, ah, the OG babes, Hilda Dukubo, um, this cry cry baby, what's her name? Kiri Silvanus, uh, Onyeka Wenu. You know, I mean, the guys are great. You know, the guys are great. I am working on, um, on a few projects that I'm, I'm very, very proud of. Um, this year is, is a year for me to break out of my shell because I've been, I've said this before, I've been living in, in fear of myself or whatever, you know, for a long time and losing my mom just snapped something in my head and you can't just keep waiting around for 
everything to be perfect to do the things that you know you're supposed to do. And I just decided this year to stop waiting around. And so I'm just moving in, in interesting new directions. I just got back from Asaba. I, I shot a few films there and it was so amazing because, you know, coming from that, you know, area, not necessarily the, the town itself, but that area where a lot of these are movies that I love so much came from and the wealth of stories that are being told there you know, is amazing. And I wanted to be part of that. I still want to be part of that. And, and I did a few, uh, one or two uh, Iroko movies this year. I'm also uh, getting back into music. And I'm producing now. So like, I'm, so this year, like I'm, I'm doing the things that I've always wanted to do. And I'm very proud of myself, very proud of my growth. So stay tuned. Thank you so much to all the fans for watching Love Like This. It has been amazing for me to receive all the feedback, you know, all the times that uh, people stop me on the road to tell me how much they don't like Kamal. You reply my favorite ones. Anybody who doesn't like Kamal is good in my books. Hello, my name is Nonso Bassi. I'm an artist, an actor, producer, dancer, all-round entertainer, creative entrepreneur. Shout out to Nollywire. Good job you guys are doing. Keep it up.